why do you need access to the API even when you're working on front end tests? A lot of times frameworks will keep back end tests and front end tests separate, but I like it when I have access to the back end code or the back end test code when I'm working on a front end test. I'll give you a great example of why that would be useful. Let's say you're trying to test refunds, processing refunds, right? You're working for an e commerce company, you want to make sure refunds work. So to do a refund, you need an order first. So you have to place an order, then request a refund, right? So to place an order is a lot of steps. You would have to basically go to the homepage, search for a product, go through the whole checkout process. Then your test actually starts. So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunities for tests to fail before you even get to the test, while you're trying to place an order, while you're going through the checkout flow. And going through the checkout flow using the front end is a very slow process. But if you have access to the back end APIs, especially if you have access to the tests, then there are functions that are going to create an order using the back end. You will have create order back end APIs and back end tests. So for your test, you're going to leverage that as a setup. So you're going to use the back end to create the order. And then to request a refund, you're going to go to the front end and go through the process of requesting a refund, which is what you're trying to test anyways. So your test will run a lot faster and your test become a lot more stable because there are less chances for it to fail. We all know backend tests are way more stable than frontend tests. With frontend tests, just going through the checkout flow before you even get to the refund, things might break and it might fail. It's just frontend, it's flaky. We, ju we just know that, right? Of course, our job is to, to make that more stable, but again, even just the timing, the timing aspect of it is worth it. So that is a really good example of why you need access to the back end to supplement your front end test. Another example would be login. Even when you're testing a login, when you're testing a valid login, what do you do? Either you go find an existing user, you hard code an existing user, or you go register a user, log out, and then log back in, which is a, not a great experience at all, not a good test at all. So if you have access to the back end, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make an API call, create the user, and then go and log in with that new user. And right after that, use API call to delete the user and clean up your environment. So your teardown becomes that much easier. So that is why I think front-end engineers or front-end test engineers also need to have access to the back-end test to and know how to use APIs. And even if there is no code for the back-end test, they should still implement APIs in their code to make the automation run a lot faster. So I just wanna bring that up. And I think that is useful and something to consider when you're working on your front-end tests. If you like content like this, make sure you give me a follow. All I do is create content related to coding, automation, testing, AI, and things like that.